Hi, this is Vladimir and I am going to show you how in the work items editor uh, iterations presented in the planned 4 drop down list now depend on the category selected in the filed against list. For this demo I created a sample project area with three separate timelines. Every timeline contains a few iterations and have a designated backlog iteration. Please note also that the main development timeline is currently the project timeline. This project area contains also three team areas, main development associated with the main development timeline, maintenance associated with maintenance timeline, and testing associated with testing timeline. In the Categories tab, I define three categories. Each category is associated with corresponding team area. Note that this means that category is indirectly associated with the timeline. Let's now explore the project area and create a sample work item. In the planned for dropdown, we only see iterations from the main development timeline. There is no category selected, and the project timeline is used by default. If we select a category, for example testing, the planned for dropdown will contain only iterations from the testing timeline. If we select a different category, for example maintenance, the plan for drop-down will contain only iterations from the maintenance timeline. If we do need to select an iteration from a different timeline, we can open a dialog which lets us select iterations from any timeline in the project area. For example, let's select the backlog iteration from the testing timeline. Now. A special warning icon indicates that the backlog iteration we selected does not belong to the maintenance timeline. Let's save the work item and try to open it in the Eclipse client. Just like in the web UI, we see the same warning and the drop-down only offers iterations based on the selected timeline. We can fine-tune the appearance of the warning message in both Web UI and the Eclipse UI. Let's see how it's done in the Web UI. In the Project Area Editor, we click on the Work Items tab, then Editor Presentations tab. Then we open the plan for presentation for editing. Here we can fine tune the warning message by using the warning message property. Or we can completely disable the warning message from being shown by using the disable warning message property. Let's keep this property and review our work item. The warning icon is no longer there and it will not show up for any iteration we select. This concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.